Welcome back to iHeartRadio So Bad It's Good. Now, one of the joys of this show is getting to turn you guys on to new reality shows. And a form of reality shows is the competition show. Now, I told you guys a couple weeks ago that I just recently got back into Survivor, but I got one better for you. I got a new show that was presented to me a couple of weeks ago, and I'm already hooked. I just finished the second episode. You guys have got to watch this. It is on the USA Network. It is called Race to Survive. Alaska. So this is crazy. Um, it just premiered uh, April 3rd. It's on Monday nights, nights, but it's set in the wild and dangerous Alaskan coastline. So we have a bunch of adventure racers and survival experts, and they have to endure more than 100 miles of inhospitable terrain with nothing but what they can carry to claim a life-changing half a million dollar prize. This is over 40 days and nights. So they have to utilize all sorts of survival skills. You see the humanity, you see people getting hurt, you see people starving. It is insane. Now today, I think actually we've got both of the brothers here. Uh, I'm going to bring the other brother up. We thought, by the way, this is wild. He's literally in a bike helmet right now. If you could see him, I'm going to introduce these guys right now. They are (laughs) brothers from Nome, Alaska, and they are known for their wilderness skills and their feats of endurance. They just summited Denali in 13 days. He was just telling me what he did like last, like a couple weeks ago from his brother. We're going to get into all of that, but welcome today, two of the contestants from Race to Survive, Wilson Hogendorn and Oliver Hogendorn. Welcome to the show. What are you guys up to? (laughs) Wait, by the way. (laughs) <laughs> if you can't see this, by the way, Wilson, I believe, is in Alaska. But Oliver, where is your brother, Wilson? He's getting a ride with some dudes through the hills in Peru right now. <laughs> he's in Peru. He is literally, you guys, he has a bicycle helmet on and he's frozen. So he looks like he's screaming <laughs> yeah. completely like he potentially has been kidnapped. This is another race to survival. <laughs> okay, he just dropped out. But I just need, yeah. Wilson, what, I mean... I, I got to say, first off, how did you get to do this show? How were you approached to do this show? Because it's insane. Uh, I was at work one day and I was looking like through my Instagram and there was a like requested message. And this one guy was like, hey, there's this survival show that someone like referred me as a contestant. So I filled out the form and then it got narrowed down. <laughs> 30 people because i guess there were like 300 people that applied Uh, there's 300 insane people that applied to be on this guys it is wild but you and your brother so you grew up with all of these wilderness skills like you you grew up doing this so this is so this show is perfect for you guys right i think so yeah it was a little bit different because up here it's real windy and there's not a lot of trees but down like in southeast alaska there's trees everywhere and it's just a rainforest but for the most part we're pretty good at holding our own in the wilderness (laughs) i mean these guys i don't want to give anything away but these guys kill it you're going to be able to like uh binge the first three episodes by the time you hear this but these guys are great i got to choose anybody i wanted to speak to and i wanted to speak to you guys because you really had such a good nature relationship as brothers and these guys are always smiling even when they're like starving it's like really annoying you guys always (laughs) seem to have a good attitude i was like i would have been crying the first hour i mean but this is something that you just you are used to doing. Did you find this exciting being a part of this? Initially, I was like real pumped to go in. Like we were all right. (laughs) Helicopters flying around and stuff. But then once I started getting hungry, I was like, damn, this is going to be a long 40 days. Because you're just like so hungry after the race is over. Because during the race, you're in race mode. Yeah. As soon as the race ends, you're just like, dead tired like you don't want to get up i was trying to sleep in as long as i could like getting up at 2 p.m sometimes just like laying in bed all day so you don't have to be awake starving god well you talk about in the second episode you guys grew up hunting and fishing but you never had to live off the land so that really tripped you up specifically right yeah like we would always bring snacks out hunting but we (laughs) never nothing at all this was so, like. This was like. Well, this I mean, was like. What I, this was like uh, hunting, but you were only had your feet and you couldn't take any food with you. 
That's, I mean, that's well, the first, I, I don't, like I said, I'm trying not to spoil anything, but they do let you have, was it like mussels or clams or something? It was like 10 clams. Yeah. It was cool. Cause when we first started our like first race, they gave us all that food in those bags. Yeah. 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 We like, oh, clams. So we like popped two cans open and finished them right away. And we didn't <laughs> think we were starving like four days from then. So. Yeah. We didn't eat but until was- 30 days later. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice that we got a little bit of food. Well, um, you guys, so there's brothers on this show, but we also have all of these other teams. You got, you have other siblings, you have thrill-seeking doctors, you have a cancer survivor, you have all of these amazing people. But I have to tell you, this isn't a joke. Like, this is one of those things I went into watching going, ah, this is going to be pretty like i bet this is pretty light and within the first episode somebody i like i was like oh no somebody's going to die in the first episode not to like spoil it but it was like intense so you guys that was true intensity you guys were going through this isn't fake yeah like it's for reals like i don't think they would even put the like the food that we got in there i was wondering if they put that in there but i was like oh they put it in there and they other than that we didn't get any food at all from Um, anybody else I mean, how did you, did you train at all going into this or this? I mean, you, like you said, you grew up doing this stuff, but how do you prepare for 40 days in the wilderness? Did you and your brother do anything specifically to train? Uh, we try to like keep overall, like general, pretty good fitness. So we didn't really train very much before, but we just, it was more like of a mental thing. Like you had to know that you were probably going to be really hungry and doing some crazy stuff for like. A long time because we didn't know much going into the show it was kind of- <laughs> you didn't know much going into the show and then all of a sudden you're in alaskan wilderness for 40 days and nights that's got to be did this push you to your breaking point big time dude i wanted to quit so bad a couple times i was like should we just tap out now like just thinking about it oliver was like nah dude we can't quit that's we what i was gonna this. see Oliver's not here right now, so you can tell me how many times did he cry on the uh, forty days? Did did he cry the whole time? Was it, you you can embarrass him? <laughs> sure felt like crying, but <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to uh, I want to impress people out there listening with some of the things that you guys have done. Like I said. You were the first native Alaskan team to summit Denali in 13 days. And you've also skied down the highest peak in North America in one day. What else? I mean, you were just telling me like, you were like, oh, I was just with my brother a couple weeks ago. And you were saying some other big thing you did. Yeah. Down in uh, Argentina, there's the other highest mountain in South America. It's called Aconcagua. We got that about 14 days, I think. That was back in February. And is 14 days, is that considered really good? It's about average time. It was pretty good, though. It was it was a little bit harder than Denali, I feel like. Because you're, really? so, you're like 2,000 higher on the mountain, yeah. Do you guys have a list of things that you want to check out in terms of, uh, you know, what you guys want to accomplish uh, for personal goals and together as family in terms of uh, other things like this? Uh... It kind of just like comes to us and like when we want to do something, we haven't been thinking about it for a long time. It's usually just kind of like spur of the moment and we hop in and try to get it done as quick as possible. Uh, Why the wilderness for you? Is there something that like puts you in touch with yourself? Is there a piece you get from it? Like I always like was watching you guys and I was like, take what, what is the mind frame you have to be in? Why do you love doing this kind of stuff so much? Uh, I feel like just doing hard stuff makes everyday life a lot more fun because you can, like, think about at least I'm not starving. Like, you could just be chilling. Like, you could just be bored. But at least you're not starving or super sore or got cuts all over your body or whatever. (laughs) Uh, have Have you watched the first couple of episodes, Wilson? Yeah, I watched a couple of them. But... They made it seem like the bushwhacking wasn't as hard. The bushwhacking was like super hard. Well, that's, like, I mean, you they, they did kind of speed through that, right? Yeah, there's so much Devil's Club. Devil's Club is like uh, this big leaf with a bunch of thorns along the stem. And they're super small thorns, so they get in your skin. And then your skin grows 
over it and it's just like a red welt. And then I was only wearing those like running tights. So I got a bunch of those all over my legs and like in my hands too, because we weren't wearing gloves yet. Yeah, I mean, in the first episode, you talk about your tights. That potentially was the wrong outfit for what you were doing. Did that did that prove to be the case the entire 40 days? I had to get really strong shins this summer because I didn't have, like, any cushion on my legs at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, watching the show, do you have a favorite team that you like to watch besides you and your brother? I, By the way, I have to say, there's a father-son team that is already i mean i mean i don't i know they're not trying to be funny but unfortunately they're vegan and they had a tin of the clams you guys and the son was sick the entire night he does something a hundred times that i don't want to say out loud and i felt so bad for him and then the dad is starting to get grumpy with the son and they're just fascinating to watch do you who do you like to watch on this show jeff and hunter fun to be around they're like the same it's like same dynamic off camera as it is like on television but I think we had a lot of fun watching uh, Bella and Kaysen because they're oh the the Brooklyn. siblings right yeah we were it was the first day of the first race and we were just hauling ass through the woods and then we see these other people and we're like hey where are you from because that was our first time talking to them and they're like we're from Brooklyn like from New York like no way <laughs> so, so I mean like. I... Uh... <clears throat> Will you, I mean, have you stayed in touch with, I mean, without spoiling anything, have you stayed in touch with any of the teams? I mean, have you stayed in touch with Kaysen and and Bella? Yeah, we got a little, got a little group chat with them. Like whenever the show is airing, you guys watch it yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, but you're, you're really competing for $500,000. That's like kind of life changing, not even kind of, that's life changing money. Was that something that kept going through your head every time you wanted to quit? Yeah, and like, if we quit, then we'd have been like, "Damn, we quit." <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's... yeah, every in a while we'd be like running through the bushes and realize that it's for half a mil. So and then you like start going faster again. So. Uh, wait. By the way, where are you? Are you at? Because it looks like you're in a gigantic treehouse, Wilson. Where? I mean, it, this looks like this place looks amazing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> my house i just built a yurt this is you wait you live in a yurt yeah <laughs> you guys if you can't see it there's like a bicycle hanging from the wall there's like a flat screen tv in a yurt it is one of the tallest yurts i've ever seen how long did this take you to build uh I built it back in august and had it to the point that in october for so about two months it's not finished god. yet but god pretty soon What's it like to be a real man, Wilson? This is, I mean, I do not know how to do any of this. This is insane. Um, tell me what is your, what was your first meal after that 40? Oh my God, you guys, he just put the camera outside the window and it is just snow for as far as you can see. That's insane. Yeah. You live in survival country. This is insane. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. My mom's hey. dream is to go to Alaska. I've got to show her that like, this is insane. Got, got my bear hide. <laughs> oh my god you got this is like you, you you're living like every teenage boy's fantasy right now this is amazing um wilson what was your first meal that they gave you after you, the after however long you competed in the competition what was your first meal that you uh chowed down uh so they pull up in a helicopter and we get on the helicopter and they just start like handing us sandwiches sandwich. <laughs> Like he goes, and then the helicopter lands at a, another spot to pick up some more stuff. Dude rips open a cooler just full of snacks, and you just like dig in. I think I it was like a ten minute helicopter ride, and I ate like three sandwiches and a bag of Cheetos, a thing of candy, <laughs> drink some water. What's well, just going? Man. What does that do to your? That's got to really be bad for your system after forty days of starving. Like, how long did it take you to reacclimate to your actual life? Uh, I think it was like three weeks probably because like you're starving for so long and your brain's telling you need, you need to like eat as much food as you can, but you're already full, but you keep eating. So you just like your belly's so huge and you're just, <laughs> you're, full, you're like still starving. Like your brain is starving, but your belly's not weird. In terms of how you and your brother work as a team, even off this show, 
What do you think his strengths are, and what do you think your strengths are? Uh, his. I feel like his strength is like. Wait, 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 wait. Let's pull up Oliver. Really, Oliver. Hello. What's up, dude? Uh, by the way, I, I was explaining to the audience you were completely frozen and you looked like you were screaming, like you were being kidnapped. Tell the people where you are right now, Oliver. Uh, I'm in Peru heading towards uh, Lima. I got a ride over the mountains uh, so I can make this phone call, hopefully. And so uh, here what? I am. Oh, my God. Do you ever stop racing? Like, I mean, my God, you it feels like you're on another TV show right now. No. Uh this has just been one of my life goals, so I, I had to move right into it. You know, COVID got in the way the uh, past couple of years, so I just kind of had to go right into it. Well, uh, Wilson just showed me his yurt he built. So, uh, I mean, this is a truly nice. incredible day for me as well. Uh, I was just asking your brother, maybe you can answer this. What do you think his strengths are, and what do you think your strengths are working as a team? Uh, we work really well, Wilson is good at learning things on the fly and adjusting really fast. And I feel like I kind of pick up things over time and I can build on stuff, you know, in my head in the background and together we can, uh, you know, push forward in that in like two, uh, two things at once. Wilson, do you agree with that? Or do you think he's full of crap? I, that, I concur. <laughs> <laughs> um, I already got to talk to Wilson for a sec, but Oliver, before I lose you again, what was your favorite thing about doing this show? And was the show way more intense than you ever thought it could be? Uh, my favorite thing was definitely just hanging out with Wilson, trying new things, uh, being able to meet new people from all over the country was like really cool. I enjoyed that. And it was definitely way more uh, involved than I thought it would be. I had no, no idea I'd be starving that much <laughs> that extreme that was intense but you did it i mean you got out on the other side and now look at you now i mean that's what i'm saying what is your next goal after the goal you're doing right now uh i was asking wilson like what's the next thing after this see he was just saying things kind of just present themselves but do you have something that you already have in your your mind's eye um i want to give myself a place to live like right now i just have a little shack that i live in 10 by 20 shack so it'd be nice to find a house or build a house wilson doesn't let you yeah. live in the yurt will uh, wilson has a whole perfectly <laughs> no. good yurt you can move into this is um would you guys do tv again would it what if they do another uh race here like a, a all-star race to alaska or somewhere else would you sign up for an experience like this again uh if the if the prize money was a little bigger, yeah, I think I'd, I'd go for I'd go for an all star race. <laughs> what about you, Wilson? Double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> By the way, this is how intense this show is, you guys. Oliver pretty much said he would not do it unless there was more money. That's how you know you were – like, I thought that was one of the most exciting things is that you really looked like – like, not you guys in the first couple episodes, but you see how many people are struggling in this show, and it really does a great – I mean, the cinematography is beautiful, but you really just go, oh, my God, you guys aren't – I mean, not you in particular, but – other people, I was like, they're not going to make it. They're, there's no way they're going to survive. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, like I was hoping that there would be like uh, some fake food, you know, like they'd give us like little snacks in the yeah. background. But there was like, don't tell me this. Oh, yeah. Maybe some yeah, yeah. Here's, well, that's the other thing. What what was it like? Because you guys do uh, similar things in your actual life, but what's it like with a camera guy following you? And I mean, that camera guy, that's got to be intense, or camera woman, that's got to be intense for them as well. I mean, what's it like, though, to be on TV while you're struggling? Uh, I don't know. We just hope that they can keep up and like they wouldn't get hurt. And they had, they had to get me my up all the time so that was a little bit different and like repeat things sometimes yeah yeah yeah. it was pretty good i, mean, I found myself having to like remind myself like okay what do i think about this like how am i supposed to answer this question you know yeah. It's, it's, uh, that, yeah i mean that's i mean it just sucks because you're already trying to survive in these insane terrains but then to also be on tv on top of that and to realize how that we're all gonna watch this you're gonna have potentially millions of people watching this show it's got to really mess with your mind on another level as you start starving just like don't act up 
<laughs> Wait, wait. Do yeah. we get to see you guys get into a big fight? Do you ever, as brothers, do you squabble a lot? And do we see a big fight? I don't want to spoil anything, but does that ever come up in the show? Nah, I, I can so. be all. <laughs> I'm telling these guys. I'm telling you, these guys were my favorite team of the first two episodes I saw. Like they're just so good natured, and you guys have so much knowledge. And I really think people are going to absolutely love this show. And right now is the perfect time to start this show because you can binge the first two to three episodes, and then it's going to be airing every Monday night on USA. You can also stream the show. Um, but uh, Oliver, when do you get back from uh, your adventures? Uh, I'm going to take a break in a month. I'm going to go back home and catch some more crab, uh, fish. Wait, are you a crab fisherman too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you like the deadliest catch crab fisherman where you throw out the pots and stuff? Yeah. Dude. Wait, is that <laughs> Wilson? Do you do that too? Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm a, I'm a... <laughs> what did you do, Wilson? Uh, gold miner, like a suction gold jerk. Oh my God. Wait. <laughs> You, wait, did you say you were on Deadliest Catch? Oh, yeah, season 18. Dude, I stopped watching that show at, like, season 12. Be, and, but, like, I would, I was so obsessed where I would act like I was throwing out the crab pots. And you guys, like, they would be up for, like, 48 hours at a time. It looked like the most miserable experience in my life. Like, I, I can't believe you. But I need a reality show just to follow you guys around. You're digging for gold. You're crab potting. Like, this is insane. But uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I know this is potentially a pain in your butt for where you're located, but these guys are true adventurers. And I just, I thought you guys had such a good spirit on the first couple of episodes. Is there a way that we can support you? Do you guys have Instagrams? Where, where can we follow your next adventures? Got Instagrams, just <coughs> my first one. Wilson okay. Hogendorn. And same with yeah. you, Oliver? Yeah, uh, mine's uh, the Hoog. The who? Yes. Okay. Yeah, underscore H O G. Okay, you guys, I'm going to put all that information in the show notes. But what I want you to do, go to that DVR, set a recording for this. It's on Monday nights. I'm telling you, you're going to dig it. I really dug it. And I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen. On a, I'm on episode two, and I cannot wait to watch the remaining. I think there's seven. There's like seven or eight episodes left, and I'm really, really excited. But thank you guys today. I really, I hope, I hope you win this thing because you, you're, you're my odds-on favorite. So I, I really hope. Don't, don't give it away. But I hope you do, and I hope to see you on my TVs down the line. Oh yeah! Thanks, Ryan. Thanks. Keep see watching now. <laughs>